Hi guys, Larissa here, and I am here to share with you the first day of the 10 days of holiday creating um, using ribbon. Um, and today we're going to start off with a really fun um, technique using our embossing folders, um, some gelatos, and some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. Um, so anyway, I want to share with you the projects that I've made that I'm going to share with you today. Um, first is this card, and I've used the technique in the background. Um, and then a couple gift tags um, to put on gifts or um, to send in the mail. Um, you could even put these on cards or, I mean, you could just do a ton of things with these. So anyway, let's get started. Um, first, what you're going to need to do is take your Sizzix um, embossing folder of choice, and I am using the Tim Holtz um, embossing folders with the Snow Flurries and Snowman set. Um, and what you're going to do, as you can see, I've colored um, right on my embossing folder. And I'm just going to take my gelatos, and I'm going to use the white the darker blue and a light blue and I am actually just going to color right inside and I hope you can tell this is the side that's sunken, sunken in um, and you can do it on either side but I found that doing it on this side works the best. Um, you get the best uh, image this way. So I'm just going to color in here and you don't have to worry about getting um, in the lines 100%. Um, and then I am going to go just a little bit around that arm. So just color that in, and I'm going to take the darker blue and do the same thing. And again, you just want to get a little bit of color in there. You don't have to do, you don't have to be precise. And then I'm also going to take the white and I'm just going to color right on top of that whole mixture. Alright, once I get that done, I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to smooth that out a little bit. I'm just going to push that gelato all the way around on the inside of this and try to get it in as much of the bare spot as I can. And like I said, you don't have to stain the lines because we're actually going to cut the snowman out. So it doesn't matter if you stay in the lines or not. You're mostly worried about the color um, that you're going to get. So once that's done, I'm going to take um, paper towel here and I'm going to take my um, Tattered Angels of Choice and for this project, shake these up a little bit here. Um, I'm going to use Piece of Heart, which is kind of like a turquoise with a gold um, glimmer, and the Puerto Rico, which is like a light uh, blue with silver. And I'm just going to spray just a couple sprays right inside on top of that gelato. And you don't want to get it too full, but you want enough to get it wet. Um, then I'm going to take my piece of paper. I'm going to make my folder, um, my Sizzix uh, ready, and I'm just going to take my piece of paper and set it right on there and close it right over and then I'm going to take this to my Sizzix machine and run it right through the Sizzix machine. embossing filter and I'm going to take it out and this is what you get and 
it just looks awesome. I love the definition that you get. Um, so then I'm going to take my heat tool here. I'm just going to heat this up a little bit to get this to dry. Because I want this to be dry before I cut it out. Put it over here and get the back side a little bit too. Just to help it dry a little faster. Then what we're going to do is just come in here and we're just going to cut around um, the shape of our snowman. And I left a little bit of a border, um, but you can do whatever you feel um, is best. So like I said, there's no, no precise thing involved. I'm just going to cut around all of the edges the snowman and if you have the snowman die um, you can use that too but I like the way that the um, that the impression from the embossing filter is in the body of the snowman and um, I just think it adds a ton a ton a ton of character um, and like I said you can do this with any um, of your embossing folders and you can use any color um, of the glimmer mist and um, it just looks awesome all right so once we have this cut out um, I'm actually going to take a little ink pad um, and this is the chestnut roan chalkboard and I'm just going to go around the edges to define this a little bit because um, I want this to look aged and kind of vintage and I also want to pop this out so that it looks even more 3D um, so I'm going to hit all of the edges on the side that are raised and then I'm also going to go onto the body of the snowman and rub across those snowflakes to make those pop a little more. Get this some more dimension and like on his carrot nose and try to get the hat. And this will just make him come to life even more. And this is what he's gonna look like when you get that done. I just love the way he looks. I think it's super cool. And I want to share with you um, the snowflake one once it gets ran through. Um, you do the same thing. Um, I just painted, um, except for you'll notice that this one, um, it's actually the indention side is up. So it depends on your um, the side that you color on. Um, I colored on the snowflake side. Um, on this one, let me see, I can show you template hair. I actually colored on the raised side of the snowflakes, if you can see, um, and I took the gelatos and I did the same thing. Um, I just came and I just colored all across the top of the snowflakes, and um, I just colored sporadically and used all three of the colors again and then sprayed right on top of this with my glimmer mist put my paper on top closed it and ran it through the embossing um, my scissors machine and this is the look that I got so this is actually in the recessed um, edges and on this it's actually the raised up edges so you can get two totally different looks depending on um, how you want to do it. So anyway, the next step we're going to do is um, I took uh, just a regular um, tag and I did actually two different um, techniques for the bases. Um, 
on this first tag here, I actually used a paint dauber, a pearl paint dauber by Ranger, and just pounced all over the background. And on this one, I actually used the white distress um, ink or stain. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do both of the different backgrounds here. Um, first, I'm going to use the pearl paint dauber and I'm just going to pounce and I'm going to squeeze lightly um, on the edges and I'm just going to cover my whole tag doing this pouncing motion and as you can tell, um, let me zoom in here, you can really see the definition of the paint from the pouncing motion um, and I am not really uh, wanting to cover the entire tag. Um, that really doesn't bother me. I think it looks kind of cool with the different color poking out. Um, I'm mainly just going for the texture here. So I'm going to zap this with my heat gun really fast to heat this up and I'm going to do a second layer of the paint on top of here. Um, and you could just leave it on the first coat. Um, you could do as many coats as you want. Um, you could even keep layering for an even thicker coat. Then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to add even another layer of the paint just to make it even more dimensional. And I love the way that this looks. I think it looks like a snowy winter land. And we hit it again with our heat tool here. And then what I did after this was dry was I took my um, Distress uh, Stickles in Rock Candy um, and just layered it on top um, and then smeared it all around. And that's what gave it the crystally, um, really pretty crystal color effect. I love the way that it turned out. So that's pretty dry. So what I'm going to do is take the Distress Stickles and I actually just like to put it on my finger but you could put it right on the tag um, if you don't if you don't like doing this. Um, but I'm just going to layer it on top of here and rub it in. I'm going to hit that again with my heat tool. And you can tell when it starts to dry, it turns into like this rock candy crystal um, look, and it just looks super, super awesome. Alright, so there we have that, and it just looks really shimmery and pretty um, and I love the dimension and then you can just come in here and add your snowman and you can either do the to and from on your tag either stamp it on or do a label um, but I am actually going to do mine on the back um, and write a little message um, so for the next tag and then actually when I got done I scuffed up the edges of my tag here um, I just ran my scissors right across the edge. If you have a distress tool, you can do that. And then I actually came in with the fiber pastels and just rubbed along the edges of the tag. Um, and then I came in with the white and rubbed along there. And then used my finger and just rubbed it in. And it gives you this really cool um, edge on your tag. So for the Distress Stain, I did the exact same thing. Um, I took the white Distress Stain. And you have to shake this up. And then I did the same thing. I just came in and I just covered my entire tag with the stain. 
and I actually had to do this about four times to get the white look that I wanted um, because the stain really does um, dry transparent um, but once you get a couple layers down it really does look like a paint um, so then again I'm going to come in and I'm going to pounce a lot of stain on here and again, I don't really care if I get it all covered. Um, I kind of like the look of it um, vintage and not all the way covered. So it looks like an old piece of paper or something. And as you can tell, the more layers that you put, the darker white that this is going to be and the darker that your color is going to be. So it all depends on how light or how dark you want to go um, with your background. And like I said, I did this four times to get the look that I got on my tag. Um, each time it just adds another layer and it really does look cool. The texture that it gives is just awesome. And then the same thing, I actually went in after I got done with this and added the rock candy um, stickles right on top. Um, but before the rock candy dried, um, I actually came in with some vintage uh, glass glitter and added it right on top of the stickles um, and used the stickles for my glue. So I'm just going to come in here with some stickles and add it right onto my tag and smooth it around. Whoops, fingers weren't all the way dry. And before that can dry, I'm just going to sprinkle on some of my rock candy glitter here. And I'm going to press that down into the distress stickles. And I'm going to shake off the excess. And then I'm going to dry that. I just love the way that the glass glitter, the look that it gives. And the, adding the distress stickles on top of it um, makes it look like a layer of snow underneath. So as you can see when that dries, it looks like there's a pile of snow underneath from the vintage distress stickles. Um, and then the same thing, I took my scissors and I roughed up the edges and added a little bit to the edges. Um, so you can see I added the gelato onto the edge of my tag. Um, and then for the ribbon part, um, I actually used um, May Arts ribbon. Um, the striped ribbon is number 3363834, and I actually sprayed it with the Glimmer Mist to make it um, tie in a little better. And this ribbon um, on this tag is BS35, and I did the same thing. I sprayed it with my um, Glimmer Mist, and then I used the um, SMOI09. Um, jute twine um, and in the cream color um, and for this tag that we're going to do today I'm actually going to use the silk um, ribbon which is SK10 and I sprayed it with my Glimmer Mist and I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to go on the front of the tag and make a loop and bring my tags through and pull it through and then you can cut those um, I like to cut them 
at an angle um, towards one another. And then um, I just took some of the jute and tied it in a little bow. And I actually did two strands. Um, I like the layered look. So I just took two strands and then I added the pearl um, right on top. So anyway, I hope you guys love the projects for today. Um, and this was the um, snowflake one and I just took a Sizzix die and cut out the wish and then I added the distress stickles and then I used the um, Maya Road wooden snowflakes um, for the bottom of the snowman and for the bottom of this and I actually just made a looped ribbon um, detail and then added the snowflake right on top um, and today um, I will be giving away a set of embossing folders um, on my blog and on YouTube. So all you need to do is leave a comment and um, you'll have two chances to win. Thanks so much for watching guys and have a fabulous, fabulous day.